Hello everyone. So welcome back to the course on architecture and design of ICs. So we are seeing different multiplier architecture. So in the last class we have seen Booth's algorithm. Okay. So using Booth's algorithm, uh, why we use Booth's algorithm? Because in normal uh, algorithm, the partial product generation. Okay. So that we uh, basically shift and add. Okay. Using uh, add a tree reduction method, we can um, reduce the depth of that. That means the addition operation. Uh, why I require that addition operation in a chain? Because I have to add those partial product generated. Uh, that means one by one, the, which one are coming by one bit shift. Okay. So to reduce those addition operation in chain, we introduce this uh, Booth algorithm. And we have seen that if from that example, we have seen that uh, using Booth algorithm. We can, if you use Redix 4 at that time, we can reduce that partial product of Bry 2. Okay. So, and if uh, that means we also can, that means consider Redix 4, Redix 16. So, more on uh, this uh, Redix I can increase. Okay. So, after that, what we have seen that uh, if I use any negative number, so, at that time, what I have to do for a negative number, I have to extend the sign. Okay. So, otherwise what will happen if I do not use uh, the uh, that means if I do not use the sign extension method for this boost multiplication uh, while we are following this boost algorithm. At that time, what happens? We will get one erroneous results. Okay. So, to uh, to get proper result, we have to extend the sign to the corresponding MSB side that in the example we have already seen. But whenever uh, to get the proper result, so what uh, actually what is our intention for using uh, Booth's algorithm? To reduce the corresponding number of addition operation which is required for uh, adding the partial products. right? Whenever we are uh, that means extending those sign bits into the MSB position, so at that time we are basically increasing the number of full address cell requirement. Why? Because that position is filled. So initially that position was blank, but now as I have extended those or though I have filled those position with this sign extended sign bits, so that means I am increasing the number of full address cell. So, to reduce those full address shell, what uh, is there? That means I can do one method that means which is known as this template method. Okay. So, using template method, I can reduce those number of sign bits and I can also get the benefit of that means both algorithm at that time in a better way or to design one high performance multiplier circuit. Okay. So, how to do that? That we will see in today's class. Okay. So, uh, basically this is the multiplication uh, that means uh, output range. So, output range means why I have to define this? Because suppose I have to multiply A with B and A is of number of that means the bit width or the wall length of A is k dot L and for b is m dot n. So, k dot l means k is the word length which is required for the integer part and l is the that means uh, bit width or the word length which is required for the fractional part. The same thing happens for b where m for integer n for the fractional part. So, in actually there are two type of multiplication one unsigned multiplication and one signed multiplication. So, till now whatever we are following that is unsigned multiplication. So, later on uh, this course we will discuss on signed multiplication method. So, if I multiply with this a and b which are of that means k l bit and m n bit. So, at the time the final product c will be of k plus m dot l plus n number that means the word length for c will be k plus m and l plus n. The same things happen for the sign multiplication too. So, if we uh, that means show this example or if you see this uh, look into this particular 
example which are mentioned here that means for the binary if I use that 1.101.1.1001 .1 so at that time the c will be 10 and the corresponding that means the fractional part will be 7, 7 bit in a length. Okay. So, because here we have considered 3, here we have considered 4. So, total 3 plus 4, 7 for the fractional part, here you see 7 bit for fractional part and 1 bit here, 1 bit here. So, that means for the integer part I need 2, so that means there is 2 bit. So, for the decimal also the same thing. So, for signed multiplication also it that means follows the same rule. Okay. So, uh, this is the comparison of booth and parallel multiplier shift and add method. So, in uh, shift and regular shift and add multiplication method what we do? Basically, if I this is my multiplication and this is my multiplier then in each of this stage this, these are the partial products which I have been generated. So, as I am doing 6 bit multiplication that means the multiplier with this 6 bit. So, that means 6 set of partial products I have to generate and then finally, I have to add those partial products. Okay. But in case of uh, that radix 4 boots multiplication what we have to do we can record or we can encode this multiplier bit considering 3 bit together. So, whenever we are considering 3 bit together for this particular 6 numbers I can get 3 combination. Okay. So, for 3 combination I will get 3 bit shift that means 3 bit partial product. And as I have considered radix 4 that means that is why there will be 2 bit shift. Here you see here there is only 1 bit shift, but here there is 2 bit shift, 2 bit left shift. If I chose radix 4 at that time this will be 4 bit shift. Okay. So, that means now this if I want to add these partial that means uh, 6 partial products. So, at that time I require 5 full array in general. But here to read that means this uh, to add these particular uh, partial products which are being generated after using booth multiplication that means booth algorithm. So, using two, my, two adder only I can get the corresponding results which is same as this. So, that means I can reduce the number of orders in a great way or in a better way. So, that means the performance of this particular circuit or this particular multiplier that will be much more better than this one the general shift and add multiplication method. So, that is why we follow this booth multiplier. Okay. So, there are uh, that means several researches are going on to find out this uh, the optimized or the that means the best circuit for uh, this multiplier design using booths. So, many of the uh, that means literatures are available on Google or IEEE site. So, if you are interested or if you are working uh, on this particular multiplier architecture, so you can inform me via you that means this uh, discussion forum or you can search it in Google or IEEE site or any scientific that means website. Okay. So, then what I said to reduce the number of that means signs which I have been extended for this booth multiplication that we can reduce by using the template method. Okay. So, according to the template method what it says that, so this is the multiplier bit at this right hand side. Okay. So, for the first hand for the that means first partial products this will be as I have that means padded 0 at the LSB position. Okay. So, I have to do that in any case whenever we are considering this 3 bit combination. So, at that time I have to add 0 at the LSB position and then I will start to combine those 3 bits. Okay. So, for the very first row according to this template method this with the very first row will be that means, the MSB 2 position here that will be sign and sign and then it will be this sign bar. Okay. So, that means, these 3 position whatever this is the corresponding multiplicand bit or the this is the that means, each bit corresponds to the multiplicand bit. 
multiplicand bit means based on the corresponding whatever is the results after this decoding okay so but for this 3 msb position the sign will be extended like this that means it will be that means for this encoding if i get that that is zero yeah, in both multiplication what we got the in, that means there the combination will be zero a or minus a or 2a or minus 2a correct so that means for that reason so for zero or for a or for 2a the sign bit is zero as that those are that means uh, positive number for minus a and for minus 2a the numbers are negative so at the time sign will be one okay so that's why those sign will be extended to this particular position for the very fast row or the very fast partial product that means for the very fast combination of this so after that after whatever is the that means the combination i'll get that for that reason this will be the msb will be 1 and next to the msb that will be the s bar okay and that will follow for the rest of the that means this special products okay and here you see whatever sign i am getting so that is being added to the lsb position okay so that means whenever for the fast row whatever sign i am getting that has been added to the lsb position for this case this is added to the lsb position of those special products so why i am doing that because here what i am doing based on the sign we are basically calculating whether this number is positive or negative if this number is positive at that time i am adding zero to the lsb means i am doing nothing okay and here also this is zero means nothing but if i am getting one over here that means the negative number at that time i am just the partial product making the partial product just to complement of that by inversion here and then addition of one over here at the lsb position so that is the two's complement method right so the same thing is basically happen to all of this okay so that means for that reason we are doing that and up to what position we are doing up to the last partial that means before to the last the partial products which i i want to generate that will be only s bar not 1 and s bar okay so after that after that the last partial products there i will not use any of this why i will not use any of this because this is my that means this 17th bit position okay and here i don't have to extend the sign from this particular thing bit because this is already this bit is already coming to the msb of this okay so that's why here also that means the last two partial products is not considering the sign extension as 1 and s bar for the last as this msb is coming over here so that's why there is no such sign extension and before to that only one position is left so that is filled with s bar but here you see for each of this the sign extension i have to add this sign at the lsb position which i am doing in this particular right hand side okay so after doing this you will get the that means after now this is for 16 bit both multiplication 16 into 16 so that's why there are 
total 17 bit. Okay. So, this 17 bit and here you please note that the operand in 17 bit that is the sign bit and also negative numbers are entered as ones complement and this is why you need to add the sign in the right hand side of the diagram. Okay. That is why and if you use twos complement then the then the s on the right side of the diagram can be removed. That means, if we if you use ones complement at the time as in this particular case I have used that ones complement. So, that is why the sign has been added at the LSP position to make it the twos complement number. So, if you are from the beginning if you are using twos complement of this. So, at the time you do not have to use this s you just remove this s. So, automatically this number is already becoming twos complement itself. So, then we do not need to add this s only the sign extension like this will be there. Okay. So, this is the that means the comparison of this sign extension method is that in the sign extension what we do the sign has s 1 has been extended something like this s 2 has been extended something like this s 3 and then s 4. But here what we are doing s 1 is extended only 3 bit position s 2 has been increased only 2 bit 2 bit position and s 3 for 1 bit position and s 4 for nothing. Okay. So, that is why here you see the number of full address cell which I require for this particular to calculate because of this extra hover rate of sign extension that can be removed here in a greater way. Okay. So, that means I can use lesser number of full address cell in compared to the sign extension method. Whereas, what whenever we will, we will do optimize at that time the main thing is that the functionality will remain same all the time that is my that means like a main mantra. Okay. So, that means here that functionality will remain same, but I can optimize or I can reduce the number of full address cell by the using this sign extension or this template method. So, now if we take one example of 25 into minus 35. Okay, sorry 25 multiplied with minus 35. So, how we can do that? So, <coughs> 25 can be represented as 11001 and I have to use this 8 bit representation. So, 8 bit representation of 25 is this. So, minus 35 can be represented using of 8 bit something like this. Okay. So, then what I have to do for this uh, booths encoding what I can I have to do I have to add 0 at the LSB position. Now, what I will that means use that is that for this 0 1 0 for 0 1 0 this 3 combination I will take first. So, for 0 1 0 what is that that means um, the number that will be A. Okay. So, that means that is the multiplicate that means the multiplicand multiplied with 1. So, multiplicand multiplied with 1 if I then at that time what will be all this position will be filled and if I just go back to this and then this I have to extend the sign for 3 bit position. right? So, 3 bit position how it will be extended? Two for whatever is the sum sorry sign and the msb that is sign bar so that means so sign bit here as this is positive number that means positive 1 so that's why this is sign is 0 0 and sign bar is 1 then for this 110 for 110 what will be the combination or uh, what will be the that means from the decoding table what will be the output that will be minus 1. Okay. So, minus 1 means what? Minus 1 means the corresponding complement of this particular circuit, okay. two's complement of this circuit. Okay. So, two's complement of the circuit if we choose, so at that time what? This will be 1, this will be 1, 1, 0, 0, all 1. So, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, all 1 and then how the sign will be extended for this case 1 and s bar. 
So, S bar in this particular case, S bar is 1 as this is negative number. So, that means S 1 and S bar is 0. And here you see I have not put extra S to the LSB. Why? Because here I am already using 2's complement. For minus 1, I have already used 2's complement. So, that is why I do not have to add S. Okay. So, if I use 1's complement at that time only for this particular case at that time only I have to add this S otherwise I do not have to. So, then for 0 1 1 case what is the combination that means decoding combination that is positive 2. So, for positive 2 what I said because that is the last to the that means this this is the just the before to the last partial products okay so because four combination i will get so this is the third so for the third or for the that means the last to the before to the last the com, that means what is the sign extension uh, sign extended things that are only s bar Okay. So, here only one bit will be extended or sorry that means in extended using template method that is s bar in this case sign is positive. So, s bar will be 1 over a. So, and at the very end what will be the case that means for this is 1 1 0. Okay. So, 1 1 0 means that is again minus 1. So, minus 1 means just the inversion of that that means 2's complement of that. <coughs> so, 2's complement of that means 1 1 1 0 0 then 1 1. So, I do not you can that means add this extra one or you can remove it because I need 8 cross 8 means I need total 16 number over here. Okay. So, after adding this each of this position now if you just add at that time what will happen? If you just add then at that time what will happen? Then finally, you will get all 1 over here and then this. So, this as this bit is 1. So, that means this indicates the results is negative number. So, negative number means the results magnitude how I can find out? I can find out if I took 2's complement of that. Okay. So, that means here I need to take the 2's complement of this which if I choose this 2's complement of that then I will get the magnitude of that result which are 1 then 1, one 0 for 1 for 1 it will be 0 for 0 it will be 1 for 0 it will be 1 for 1 it will be 0 1 1 then 0. If I find out the that means corresponding decimal value for this binary so it gives me 875. So, the results are sorry the results is minus 875. So, if I that means if I uh, what was my requirement I have to multiply 25 with 35 which is nothing but minus 875. So, here also I am getting minus 875 using this sign extension method. So, you can consider any number okay, any number and by this method now we can try whether this algorithm is following or not. Okay. So, uh, then uh, what will be the architecture for this Booth's multiplication? Okay. So, uh, the multiplier architecture is here we uh, that means uh, are showing the corresponding block diagram uh, level representation of Booth's multiplier. Here in these two particular direction I am having this multiplier in this vertical direction and multiplicand is in this horizontal direction. So, the multiplier will be passes through the Booth's encoder block. Why? Because I need to generate the corresponding combination. So, while we are choosing this uh, the that means the 3 bit together. So, at that time what is the outcome that means the decoding uh, from the decoding that means the from the booth table what is the output for that those combination that we will get from this booth encoder part. So, after getting that 
So, the multiplication unit that will be that will be minus a or 2 a or minus 2 a or my, uh, that means a. So, based on that that means whatever is a multiplication bit that will be inverted or not inverted or directly it will come or that will be shifted by that means for 2 a whether that will be shifted by 1 bit. So, that basically based on this particular decoding um, that means results that will be chosen in this particular product unit this is the generation unit that means from this I am generating those partial products. After that I need to add this partial products and finally, I will get the products. So, whenever we will use this partial product adding unit, so at that time I can use this three uh, that means uh, three kind of things which we have already seen this Wallace tree method. Okay. So, tree reduction method I can use for this partial product generation which I am doing after getting the partial products generated by using Booth multiplication, Booth algorithm. Okay. So, this is the that means the architecture for Booth multiplier. So, here also the same thing whenever we are generating the product. So, at that time one thing will be remembered. What is that? So, at the very big end what we have seen if the sign bit is 1 then I have to choose two complement of the final results. If this bit is 0 then it will directly pass that means whenever we will design at the time to choose the that means to get the correct results over here. So, there will be one multiplexer where this output will be passes through in one path that is through two's complement and in one path it is it will pass through directly to get the proper results. Why and what will be the select line? Select line will be MSB of the results which I am getting after this partial product generation unit. So, this uh, sign bit or the MSB which is nothing but the MSB that will decide whether that number will be two's complemented or it will pass directly. So, 0 means it will direct directly pass to the output or the output is positive number if it is 1. So, that means the number is negative. Okay. So, this is the uh, this Booth multiplier architecture. Okay. So, again we will in, in the next few classes we will see this uh, this different kind of tree multiplication and why I have to use tree multiplication. Then we have discussed uh, sign multiplication sorry unsigned multiplication till now. So, then that means how to do that sign multiplication and what are the that means problems or what are the challenges comes whenever we consider this sign multiplication. So, in unsigned multiplication we can do because this is positive number. So, I do not have to consider any other things. But if I use sign multiplication, so at that time what will be the problems or how you can tackle those problems that we will see later on to this particular multiplier architecture topics. Okay. So, thank you for today.